This Mac is walking on its last legs, so I wondered what would it cost me to build a new PC from scratch with proper specs to make music with. And that's what I'm going to find out in this video. I want to thank Computer Shop Arnhem for their time and advice. Computer Shop Arnhem is one of the last computer specialists in the Netherlands where knowledge, service and personal contact with the customer still counts. Welcome if you're new to the channel. My name is Dexter Clark and I do reviews, vlogs and tutorials about DJing and producing. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and hit that little bell icon so you get notifications when I upload a new video. We are gonna build a computer in this video. When it comes to computers, you quickly have the discussion, does it have to be a Mac or a PC? I did a couple of videos about that, so I won't go into detail here, but 2018 has not been the best year for Apple. Apple made the decision for me not to choose an Apple. Apple products have always been expensive. But over the last couple of years, Apple increased the prices of their products by 20, 30%. And now they are at a point that they are absolutely ridiculous. And over the last year, Apple didn't do anything to justify that price increase. And what also doesn't help Apple's case is that you have to buy everything in one big bulk. Because you can't upgrade later on, they solder everything to their motherboard. But with a PC you can, and when you're on a budget that is really important. So I decided to build a PC from scratch and the main components have to be in order. Uh, that being the CPU, the motherboard, the case and the power supply. And later on I will add more memory, I will add a graphics card and I will add the SSD. AMD or Intel? Yeah, I can hear you guys already typing in the comments. AMD is cheaper, AMD is faster. Yeah, that may be the case. Problem with AMD? The problem with AMD is that there are some compatibility issues with some plugins and there are compatibility issues with some MIDI controllers. And Thunderbolt is still a little bit finicky on a AMD processor. CPU is king when it comes to music production because you don't have to render out every time when you make a change, for example, to your MIDI. So I needed a processor that is fast, but not too expensive. I ended up choosing for a 9700K uh, processor from Intel. Of course, when you have a CPU, you need a cooler for that. And I could go the water cooling route, but I decided not to. Then the component that defines everything, the motherboard. I want to place an i7 processor, so I need a Socket 1151 motherboard with an Intel 300 chipset. I ended up choosing the Asus ROG Strix Z390. The memory, I made a special video about memory for music production. In this case, I decided to go for the bare minimum, uh, two uh, sticks of four gigabytes, so eight gigabytes in total with uh, 2666 megahertz. I could go faster and the motherboard supports it, but the speed difference is not that earth shattering. And if I want, I can replace it later. And what I definitely want to do in the future is add more memory. There is something called Optane. Optane is a sort of middle between your regular memory and your SSD. This speeds up your PC quite a bit, but you can't even use Optane on the Apple side of things. I decided not to go for Optane right now, but add it later. What do you absolutely need to know when you want to become a music producer? Well, I compiled the most important information in one handy place, an ebook. In this ebook, I'll talk about record labels, health, getting a foot in the door, and much more. Out now. And the best of all, it's absolutely free to download. The link is in the description below. Then the hard disk. Well, will it be a spinning platter drive, an SSD or a hybrid, so a combination of the two? I decided to go not for an SSD. Not because of the speed, because speed-wise you definitely need an SSD, but just to save some money. I'll go for a traditional spinning platter drive of 7200 RPM. 4500 RPM is too slow, guys. And go for an SSD later that I will use as a primary disk and use my spinning platter drive for extra storage. 
When it comes to hard disks, it's really useful to mention that Seagate hard disks have a high failure rate. I would suggest that you should choose for Western Digital, for example. That doesn't mean that every Seagate drive that Seagate ever made was bad because then the company would be out of business. But right now, uh, the failure rates could be much better with another brand. The case. We have to put the, stum the stuff somewhere. And I could buy into the RGB hype, but I decided that I don't want to go that route. Since there's nothing more annoying than a humming fan, I wanted to be quiet. And Be Quiet is a brand that is really famous for its quiet cases, so I decided to go for Be Quiet. Then the sound card. I'm pretty happy with my Focusrite 2i2, so I see no reason to change that. Especially not because there are drivers for Windows. If you're curious about the 2i2, I made a review about the sound card. The link to that video is in the description below. When it comes to the graphics card, I decided just to use the onboard graphics. They are just fine for music production. And if software manufacturers of DAW come to their senses and use the GPU finally, then I can add one later. When it comes to the power supply, I ended up choosing for a 750 watt power supply. Not that I need it right now, I could do with less, but if I decide to add a big power consuming graphics card later, I have already the juice in the computer. When it comes to the monitor, I decided to use temporary my old pre-Mac days monitor. It still works and I'll replace it later by a super wide screen. The results of this computer for music production assembly haul, this is what I chose. And as you can see, a pretty complete PC for about 1400 euros, including Windows. This overview and an extended edit of this video is available for my premium Patreon members. If you like the content, consider supporting the channel by a donation. You can find out more details on my website dexterclark.com slash donate. And I love to see you in my next video. Bye.